I did it. I did the thing. I did a really, really odd thing. Something that I thought was impossible to do, but I did it. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't glamorous, but it's done. Eleven weeks ago, <laughs> I decided that I'm going to run my very first marathon. Good morning. We are uh, getting ready for another run this morning. So I'm, I'm training for my first marathon. I'm not exactly sure how to train for a marathon. All I know is that I probably need to run a lot, a lot more than I am at the moment. Now, generally, this isn't a very big deal, but I think for anyone who's ever run a marathon, it is, no matter what you've done before, even if you've run 500 half marathons, your first time you're doing something is a big deal. And so I just want to congratulate everyone else who ran the marathon, the Nisner Forest Marathon, uh, who did the half marathon. Um, many of the people I spoke to spoke about the challenges, how challenging the it was out there on the field and it was, it was muddy, it was wet, it was cold. Uh, you start in the dark in the middle of the forest and, um, and then things look like they're getting better, but then they just get cold again. So there's a lot to be said about those who actually finish uh, because it is really, really tough to persevere in something that is hard. And that brings me back to a conversation I was having on one of my social media channels uh, recently where I was speaking to someone in a professional capacity and, uh, you know, he uh, shares really great anecdotal stories about his personal experiences and how that relates to his life and his decisions and business and entrepreneurship. So I enjoy reading his articles. And one of the, the framing that he has somewhat, or at least that I'm picking up, in his case, he's a chartered accountant. So he carries the CA. Uh, SA designation and I was curious and I asked so you know you seem to be uh, against the status quo of designation but yet you carry the CASA in your title like, why is that and I was genuinely just curious to ask and his answer while at the time was you know reasonable the more I've gone through this challenge of running this marathon the more it started to resonate with me and he said it's because I did a really hard thing. And, <laughs> you know, when I, in the framing of that professional context, I thought, well, I mean, lots of people do hard things. Their, their day jobs are very hard. There was even someone who commented, uh, isn't that why other people, you know, carry uh, their job titles because it was really hard to get there. And, um, and I thought about this because in my journey, when I was finished, there were lots of people who told me just how insane I was to do this thing. And it wasn't just that I was doing the marathon. It was that I was preparing in such a short period of time. And it was that I did it at the age of 48. I'm not young. I mean, I'm not super old, but I'm, I'm definitely not young. So, you know, to have... I still remember a conversation that I started with a friend of mine, Ryan, uh, about, hey, let's, um, let's do the Nice the Forest Marathon. And he was, uh, yeah, he was, he was not on board. He thought it was insane. It was, uh, but I was determined. And it's something I never knew about myself until, uh, some recent conversations with my family, who were also very concerned about me running this marathon, not directly to me, but, <laughs> but to my wife. Uh, you know, asking her if I'm okay and, um, and trying to urge me to not do it. Weird, but anyway. So, this idea of I did a really hard thing started to just, you know, in the last week since having done the marathon, it's really started to, to work on me and it's really started to work through me and I started to think about it because I felt that I did a really hard thing and so did a lot of the runners with me. They did really hard things, you know, running that marathon and most of the people that I spoke to had a story about overcoming something. 
you know, I spoke to a friend, Spencer, um, who had done the half marathon and he said that he had long COVID or has long COVID and his journey about running uh, marathons is about his overcoming of that and, and not being residing to the fact that, oh, I've got long COVID, so that's why I must just, I must just accept it. And he persevered against that and he says he still has some trouble, but you know, the, the triumphant feeling he gets from running a race and his pace is amazing. He's really fast. So he's done a really hard thing. He's overcome long COVID and he's running marathons and half marathons at a super fast pace. That to me is a really hard thing. Just this morning, I read of uh, someone uh, on LinkedIn who has a fear of heights and did this treetop uh, adventure climbing where to me, that's a really hard thing. These treetop climbing, they are not it's not easy, it's not stable, it's not like you're walking on a bridge that's high up. It's an actual swinging, dangling thing that's very really loosely put together. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a cure, but it's, I mean, it, you don't feel safe. And she overcame it. To me, that's a really hard thing. And to prepare for a marathon, my first marathon, with just nine weeks of training, and then running it and finishing strong, to me, that was a really hard thing. And so I brought some evidence with me. The only evidence, <laughs> the only evidence I really have of me doing a really hard thing. And that is my shoes. My shoes are my professional designation for me having done a really hard thing. So I hope that when you think of challenges that you have in your life or situations that you have or in your business or in your profession, that all of those things, life is calling you to them to say, here is a really hard thing. I know you can do it. I didn't know that I could run a marathon. I had just had enough of sitting on the couch and not doing it. So I went out there and now I realize that I did a really hard thing. Ooh, I don't know if I'm going to make a cut off. I really want that medal. This was hard. This was really hard. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please give it a like. Maybe share the message with a friend that you think would uh, benefit from hearing this or would like to hear this message or to give them some encouragement. And so they could know that it's not in perfection, it's not in readiness that I went out and we do these things. It's in unpreparedness. It's in just having enough of where we are and wanting a little bit more. Not knowing if we're going to be successful, but knowing that we're never going to reach any level of success if we keep at the same things. And every once in a while that we got to get up there and we got to take on something that makes us sit and wonder and think and look back and say, that was a really hard thing. Anyway, my name's Richard and this has been Richard Talks. Thanks for watching me do my really hard thing.